she's a queen.
Theophilus Potomactylus. I know they've given the Nobel for less than this. The was called Twitter Cathedral. They bear fruit! Gertrude Stein is fine. I have here in my possession the rest of As for you, Pearl White, we'll get to you in good time. Movie star, because the meeting was called to order these times. They've been approved! <laughs> Miss Stein, I knew that the president be in, in, in teach. Again. And I say this only because. 
because to discuss her problem would be, in effect, to do nothing but waste our time. Now, to quote, if I may, from memory, Mrs. Mesia Lawless, the dilemma of my life is that I convinced I had never been born. Well, as we all know, not two months ago, there were obtained through the efforts of this committee and a certain handsome young doctor. <clears throat>
You must keep the windows closed, ladies. I have told you this many times, yes? You must keep the windows closed. Well, come on now. Chin's up! All three of them. Now, where's that lovely girl who smile of yours? No, 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 she's not the itty bitty smile. I mean, the big, the big, big smile. Oh, see? All better. Now, what do you suppose I am going to say to you? you'll never have another meeting again. And do you know what that means? Well, for one of these, you'll never again be allowed to make suggestions to us about what you think should be done, or looked after, or improved. And it also means that all the lovely ladies who elected you to this, this wonderful committee, all the lovely ladies who placed you on their hope and their trust, well, all those lovely ladies will then hate you. Forever. Well, having said my little piece, I think it's time you got back to a little meeting. There must be just all sorts of fine things you've set your hearts on accomplishing today. Hello? Not too stuffy in there for you, is it? time. 
it does not many women in the neighborhood is lucky as that. Sometimes, during the festivals, the natives would eat their friends. We were told this was an honor, but Martin and I never made friends easily. It's the way it was then. <laughs> if all were at it, what is to remember my voices? Yes, tell me that. Oh, I loved Elizabeth Katie. And Elizabeth Katie loved me. And when she was nearly 80, sweet Katie still loved me. Tell my voices what is to remember my pants? Susan Anthony? Who is Susan B. Anthony? Who is she? Who is Susan B. Anthony? Who is she? The right to sleep is given to no woman. You gave us those lines, Trudy, and a mother was all. Marvelous play, I think. The right to sleep is given to no woman. Yes, Trudy, how pertinent those lines are even today. Yes! Just, just ask Fred Newton. Uh, captured during the course of a crash. His Amelia was a really good pilot. Not, not much of a nap. But a really good pilot. You just you just ask Fred. You know what I hate? I hate oh, I hate cigarettes without matches. That's what I hate. It's so it's so it's so absolutely right, Stony. Smoking's just not the same that you can't have smoke. Um, one of the troubles with the suit of armor, which one rarely thinks about, is it's very hard to tiptoe with. Just thought I'd mention it. Don't know why. I'm gonna bring that body. Thank you. 
25 and 826 report definite feelings of hostility. I know what that is. Well, you bet your sweet ass you do. <laughs> hostility. Directed toward her while collecting money for her annual Woodston Time pageant. Miss Allison Catbride rightly concludes that since Woodston Time is a religious event, this hostility could not have emanated from any of the women who she solicited money from, which was as usual, everyone in the war. Yes, and as if me gives us a penny, not as bad money as what left you without a brain. <laughs> Christmas party. We lose that, but 
And I love that party. I love Christmas. And what about our movies twice a month? I bet we wouldn't see any. Just incredible. But we lose a lot of things that way, I'm afraid. Yes, Mrs. Johnson, I'm afraid we would. And I'm afraid you do me an injustice. I've got no intention of attacking unprovoked. You don't. But, but how? You see, I've spent my whole life among wild animals. <coughs> when you do that, honey, you get to love them. And when you do that, honey, you don't like to kill them unprovoked. You don't like to kill them, shall we say, for the fun of it. You don't like to kill them for the trophy. No! Mother necessity alone pulls the trigger on your gold-printed elephant gun. Would you kill? You kill for either of two reasons. You kill because you're being attacked.
point is this. As it is quite true that we'd never be able to eat them all, yet obviously have to kill them all, those dead but left uneaten would appear, would appear, I'm afraid, to have been killed for the fun of it, not the necessity. In other words, the uneaten would become our trophies, and we'd lose all of our privileges after all. Madam President, ladies, my play is no good. Well, I gotta say, you can't have a moose head on the wall. A good man will do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, any other ideas? Girls, I don't think I need to remind you that this matter is urgent. Girls, our lives are at stake. Just incredible. The whole thing.
my plan a little clearer. Amelia, my dear, please try and bear with us. Ladies, what we must do is kill someone. Huh? What? Kill someone? Yes, kill someone. Anyone at all. But I thought we decided this. I told you shut up. Yes, you know, we I don't mean kill one of them. I mean. Like a
haven't seen a pot around, have you? A small black pot? So big enough for one? I knew we'd find a way. Sleeping. Can't say I blame you. Such a long day this has been. And a curious day as well, too. Yes. Very, very curious. From the moment I got up, there was something in the air. Like the women outside, for instance, lined up in their rocking chairs and just laughing away. They'd done that before, of course. But just laughing away. What is it they claim now? Hmm? That the sun has gone forever, and now they're lonely being night. Well, there isn't any room tonight, I would say. And then they great. Then they'd say, in those strange voices of theirs, go and check, and you will find that all the clocks have been broken. Well, that can all be explained now, can't it? Somebody must be at the clocks, no doubt. Though God only knows why. Yet the curious 
this way they say, oh, oh, we don't need the clocks anymore. The way they say, well, they know the hour anyhow. And they laugh, and they laugh, and they laugh, and rock back and forth in those goddamn chairs. Yet their eyes really are the thing, aren't they? And the lights were down. A bulb had broken, I guess, and, and somehow their eyes, like cat's eyes, seemed to just glow in the dark. You must keep the windows closed, ladies. 